Hi, I'm Paula Tanner. I'm an Atlanta native and here in Houston for the first time ever entry getting into the Houston show. I'm a first timer. I'm also a very closet quilter. Uh, I've been quilting since the um, late 60s, but I kept it very much to myself. So that's why I call myself a closet quilter. My degree is in art. Uh, my master's is in art education, so I'm used to having plans for what I want to do. But now that I'm older, I'm retired, and I can do whatever I want to do, I'm spending my time doing the things I want to experiment with. I plan out a lot of them, but in this case, I didn't plan this one very long. <laughs> I started out with about 15 years worth of leftover DMC floss in the bottom corner here, proceeded up and put a little fancy on top. So I'm calling it Towers and Spires. The binding is also a little unusual because what I did there was to um, gather strips of fabric over cording and then place it. And it was easy to uh, find a good combination of uh, colors to go with it because I think just about every color you've ever seen is in this quilt. The hand embroidery took about a year. It's on linen whole cloth and the backing is a cotton backing coordinating. There was no plan. It just came out and there were times when it got so hard to work on, I would have to just put it away. Then when I'd pull it back out, I'd fall in love with it again. So I spent a lot of time on it, but I think in the long run, it was the most enjoyable because to me, the process is worth a lot more than the final product.